Hello, welcome friends. This is Narsheen Taj, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, SIT Tumkur. And here, here I am presenting another C programming example for you. It's a program 4th B in our lab set. The basic aim of the program is to exchange the smallest and the largest element in an array. The detailed question described in the lesson is develop a C program to find the smallest and largest elements in an array using pointers and then swap these elements and display the resultant array. Let us take the question sentence by sentence. The first sentence says that you need to develop a C program to find the smallest and largest elements in an array using pointers. So in order to do this, first of all, you have to read an array and then you will be using two pointers. The pointers would be assigned to the array. And then traversing the array, we are going to find the smallest and largest elements with the help of for loop and the if statements. Then the second sentence says that you need to swap these elements. The smallest and the largest elements that are pointed to by the pointers has to be swapped and then finally you are going to display the resultant array so going to the program the first line we have the preprocessor directive it's the include statement to include the stdio.h header file then we have the main the point where the execution begins and in the body of the main as the first thing is the local declaration here we declare the variables required for one n that is size of array i that is the loop index then temp which is a temporary variable to swap the elements and then here is the declaration of the pointers we are declaring two pointers so as we know that there must be an asterisk with a valid identifier to declare a pointer. Here we have two pointers, one for pointing to the smallest element in the array and another is to point to the largest element in the array. Important thing is the data type of these pointers. This data type must be the same as the array we are going to use later and since we are using the array of integers we are using int data type with these pointers the next we have a message to the user that is to enter the size of the array and then we have a scanf statement to scan the size of the array so once we scan the size of the array, then we can have the declaration of the array with the definite size. And then the next step is assignment of the array to the pointers. As we are using two pointers and both will point to the first element of the array in the beginning. We are having the compound assignment here. P1 equal to P2 equal to A. A is the name of the array and as it is the name of the array it holds the base address of the array or the address of the first element in the array and because of which we are not using an ampersand operator over here Next step is to prompt the user to enter the n elements so that the user will remember what is the n value we are giving first a message 
and then with the help of the for loop to iterate for n number of times we are going to scan the n elements into the array next step is finding the smallest and the largest element in the array we take up again the for loop and start with the second element in the array till the end of the array within this for loop the first if statement is to find the smallest element we compare the current element that is nothing but the second element in the array with the first pointer element assuming that pointer p1 is pointing to the smallest one we are making use of a less than symbol here so whenever the current element in the loop is less than the first element um, that is the first pointer element then we make pointer 1 to point to the current element in the array you can see here there is a difference in the assignment to the pointer so earlier we assigned the base address of the array to pointer and here we are assigning the address of the current element of the array hence we require the ampersand operator and even the subscript with the index in a similar fashion we again take one more if statement and compare the current element with the greater than symbol with the second pointer element and if this condition is true we make pointer 2 to point to the current element so once we traverse the complete array the next thing is to print the output in order to print the output properly we first go to print the elements before swapping the largest and smallest element again with the help of a for loop we go to print the array here we can use either slash t or slash n with slash t it will print the array in a horizontal fashion and with slash n it is going to print the array in the columnar fashion The next step is we are going to print the smallest array found in P1 and the largest element of the array found in P2. Then we are going to swap the elements with the help of this temporary variable. We are swapping the elements as follows. Assign P1 to temp and then assign p2 to p1 then we assign temp to p2 the last thing is now printing the array elements after swapping the largest and smallest elements the logic remains the same we are going to take again the for loop to repeat for n times and then we are printing the array with the help of percentage d slash t comma afi in printf so this is about the program now let us have a look on the sample output so the program prompts first the user to enter the size of the array the size given is 5 and then the program prompts the user to enter the five elements into the array and here these are the five elements entered as you can see clearly that the smallest element is 12 and the largest element is 54. Then after executing the logic of finding the largest and the smallest element, the next uh, statement executed is it will print the array elements before swapping the largest and smallest element. So here it is printing the array as it is entered by the user then it prints the smallest element in the array which is 12 and then largest element in the array which is 54 and finally it is printing the array elements after swapping the largest and smallest element you can see that 12 and 54 are swapped okay <clears throat> 
so that's about the sample output hope you will execute the program and see another output on your screen